Welcome to Data Cloud Now's Gen AI in LLM's Leadership Series. In today's episode, we're in New York City, exploring the role Gen AI is having on data and the importance of large language model observability. To explore this topic further, I'm delighted to be joined by Chris Van Pelt, co-founder and CISO at Weights and Biases. Great to have you on the program today, Chris. Yeah, thanks for having me. You've been at the forefront of helping organizations deliver high quality and trusted ML results via better tracking and monitoring. Is Gen AI changing the need for that? Uh, it's greatly expanding it. Uh, when we first started the company, we made our tool really for machine learning engineers, people that are super familiar with statistics and probabilities. Now with Gen AI, any developer can really leverage this technology. And the challenge becomes really helping these traditional software developers understand the world of, of ML. It's an exciting next chapter. Security and trust are essential in today's hyper-regulated environment. What's the role of model evaluation in that part of the equation? Well, yeah, these models, they're probabilistic. So they're going to be wrong some percentage of the time by definition. The only way to understand how they're wrong is by having a really mature evaluation toolkit, a way that the team can actually look at the results and understand what the edge cases are. So then they can uh, kind of focus their efforts on how to steer or fine tune the models to minimize the chance that a bad result ends up uh, in, in users' eyeballs. You know, even with all the expected productivity improvements, cost will still very much be top of mind. How can good LLM operation practice play a role in addressing this, Chris? Well, we're seeing an explosion in open, a or, uh, open source AI models, right? Where you can actually run these yourself, which is going to be a lot cheaper than paying uh, a third party like OpenAI to run their, their very massive model. Uh, but it's not easy to run these models yourselves. You need good tools. You need to build up a practice of uh, evaluating these models, retraining them. Uh, it's really an ongoing exercise. You know, what are some of the reasons users are catching these bad model results and how does data management play a direct role in this? Well, yeah, uh, I think a lot of people are aware of the shortcomings of these models, whether they're hallucinating or uh, going off, off track. Uh, the core foundation models are, are trained to be really general, which means uh, if they aren't steered or fine-tuned, they can create toxic content or do things you really wouldn't want them to do in a, in a business setting. So having that evaluation practice, having a dashboard to, to actually monitor how this, this model is being used by end users and detect these bad cases is really critical to help the team figure out how to minimize the chance that, that people are getting these results. Chris, thank you so much for your insights. For the audience watching, what advice would you give them and what steps can they take now in order to be successful to adopt Gen AI, not only today, but over the coming years as well? Well, number one, I'd say enable your team, the engineers to uh, experiment, to try different use cases in a safe internal setting. Uh, at Weights and Biases, we just launched a, a new product that allows teams to actually monitor all the usage of, say, an OpenAI API or an AnyScale API or, or one you deploy uh, within Snowflake. By having that observability, you kind of free the engineers to try a bunch of things before you then go out and, and give it to end users. The second piece of advice would be really invest in that center of excellence when it comes to uh, running a machine learning function. Uh, use tools like weights and biases to give you that central system of record to uh, ensure that the model is not returning those bad results and that you can really provide value and automate core pieces of uh, your, your business. Chris, thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now. Great to sit down with you in New York City. It was my pleasure. Thanks. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.